a very good afternoon class 12th you must be in the process of deciding your investigatory project for chemistry i've come up with the next project of chemistry after the last one which was on chemical chameleon this one is a chemistry project on natural indicators now there are many things which can act as natural indicators there are flowers marigold you have petunia you have rose you also have onion peels which can act as indicators and beetroot it can also act as indicator you have red cabbage which can act as indicator you can use any one of these this particular project has used this particular student has used onion peels and beetroot and these natural indicators are prepared and then compared with phenolphthalein by the acid base titration so if you do not know the acid base titration then please go through the video already posted on my channel for the NaOH versus HCl titration fine now moving ahead you will be required to mention the contents of your project file the certificate acknowledgement have to be there then the theory preferably use the theory from your ncert books class 11th and class 12th put only that theory which you can understand don't go beyond that the procedure should be step wise observation tables you should have your photographs while you are doing the project so that it gives authenticity to the project conclusion about your project and the bibliography where did you use the material of course precautions and sources of error error are also to be mentioned this is the general write up of your certificate where you mention that this is to certify that your name board roll number is to be mentioned here your class from whichever school you are this this particular report is from father agnel school new delhi and it is completed her chemistry project report which is to prepare indicators using onion peel and beetroot this work has been carried out under my supervision and guidance it's my pleasure that she has been able to prepare the project within the stipulated frame of time with to my utmost satisfaction the progress of the project has been continuously reported and been in my knowledge consistently the approach towards the subject has been sincere and scientific your teacher needs to sign it this was my student so i have signed it and the lab assistant also needs to sign it the next page refers to the acknowledgement where the student acknowledges the effort of the teacher and the lab assistant so i extend my deep sense of gratitude towards the your teacher whose consistent constant encouragement and supervision has made the present work possible it is she who showed nuance of this project and motivated me to go for it her continuous guidance and supervision at every stage of my project was a great boost for me Secondly I am indebted to the lab assistant who is the in charge of the chemistry lab of the school for providing me with the equipments which were required to perform the experiments pertaining to the project mentioned earlier and for his help at an each and every step of the project so this is a thank you letter to your chemistry teacher and the lab assistant now we move on to the theory section theory section can be looked up from the ncert reference books google wherever you can get but please put it only the matter which you understand This the student has given detail about what are indicators the types of indicators can be natural as well as synthetic then you have indicators they show color changes under different ph value she has taken up a picture from a book since it's a titration based project so she is given the details of the volumetric analysis titration acid base titration acidity of a base and basicity of an acid see these are the informations that you need to mention in the project because this is what would be your viva since ph has been mentioned so the ph detail is also given referring to what are the values of ph for acidic solution values of ph for basic solution what are the color changes on the ph paper observed as the ph changes or the acidity and the basicity of your solutions changes then the student has also given you a detail about the colored component present in beetroot the structure of the compound which causes the color in the beetroot and these compounds have got the components in the presence of ph they do change their colors so the betanin is the component which is found by on hydrolysis it changes color that is the information from the google similarly the information from the google for the onion as an indicator is also been given how does it change the color in your acidic medium basic medium and what is the main component of your onion peel that is showing you the
color. Of course, the smell etc. is also mentioned. All this information can be obtained from Google. Coming to the materials that you require. The flasks, burette, stand, pipette, white tile for the color indication, water bath if you need to heat it, a tripod stand, wire gauze, ethanol to dissolve, beetroot and onion peel. The procedure. You need to prepare the two indicators. Now for the beetroot indicator, you need to chop the beetroot nicely in the form of a thick paste. You can use your mixies also. Boil this paste with some water for about 5-7 to seven minutes and then you need to strain it. You can use the tea strainer at home and keep it and then you can keep it to cool down and let it come to room temperature so that it can be used for titration. So it's nothing but a filtered juice of beetroot which you are using. Similarly from the onion peels which is acting as an indicator, you will take onion and remove its peels, take the peels, crush them as far as possible, then you add some water to the crushed peels, heat it in a water bath and keep stirring. At this point also you need to add ethanol because onion peels colored component is not fully soluble in water. On the water bath and heat it more with constant stirring, a pink color indicator is observed. You need to again strain it through a tea stainer at room temperature, cool it down and then you can use it for the titration. The only difference in the two is you need to add some alcohol to extract the colored pigment from the onion peel. You can also use red cabbage which will require only water. You can use red rose petals, petunia, marigold. These are the components. If you see that they are not discharging the color in water, you can add a little bit of alcohol to get the color extracted into water. Fine. So it is your choice which indicators can you use. At least use two samples. Now coming to the solution preparation. You will require 0.1 molar HCl. Now HCl is just done by dilution formula. Aapke lab mein concentrated HCl hota hai. Aur aapko sirf usko dilute karna hai. So the formula that we use is M1V1 is equal to M2V2. This is a known molarity of your commercial HCl. Jo market se purchase kiya bottle hota hai lab mein. Uska molarity 12.1 hota hai. And you have to prepare 1 liter. Since I am preparing 1 liter, I have written 1000 ml of 0.1 banana hai. So M2V2 is 0.1 into 1 liter. 12.1 ka kitna volume chahiye. The volume that is calculated comes out to be 8.26 ml. So now what you need to do? You add water to 8.26 ml of the concentrated HCl and make it up to 1 liter. And your solution is ready by the dilution formula. Coming to the NaOH that you require. You again require 0.1 molar NaOH. That is again 1 liter of it will be required. There is no harm in preparing slightly excess because you will not keep preparing. Bar bar thode solution banaoge. Eki bar thoda zada solution bana lena. Or you can carry your coke bottles and keep these solutions in them in the lab for you to use whenever you do the project work in your chemistry lab. 0.1 molar NaOH ke liye you require 1 liter is what we are preparing. NaOH is not by dilution formula because you get it in solid form. The formula that we use is molarity is equal to weight of NaOH needed upon the molecular mass of NaOH divided by volume of solution in liters. You are requiring 0.1 molar. Weight of NaOH is to be calculated. 40 is the molecular mass of NaOH. 23 plus 16 plus 1 makes it 40. You require volume solution in 1 liter that is 1 because the volume has to be in liters. So the weight of NaOH that you require is only 4 grams. So now you will weigh 4 grams of NaOH and dissolve it in water to make it up to 1 liter of solution. So the two solutions that you require are 0.1 molar HCl and 0.1 molar NaOH for your project. Now comes the titration and the observation table. In your burette you will be taking NaOH. In your titration flask you will be taking HCl 10 ml plus the indicator. If you do not know how to perform the titration, I repeat, it is already on my channel. Please go to class 11th practicals, acid-based titration and you can see how the procedure is to be done. Titration using phenolphthalein is what you will do first because you will be comparing your natural indicators with phenolphthalein. So, the volume of acid that is your HCl that you are using is 10 ml in the titration flask and then you will be adding 2 drops of phenolphthalein to it and then from the burette you will be adding NaOH solution which you have prepared yourself. Initial and final reading still you get two concordant readings. Chemistry requires two same readings to proceed. You do not use any mean values in chemistry. So the concordant volume of NaOH used was 10.4. 
so when 10.4 of NaOH is added the solution changes color so at the end point is your 10.4 the pH is on the basic side when you see the change in color of phenolphthalein it changes to lightest possible pink from colorless the same titration is to be done using beetroot indicator again you will be using your burette with NaOH titration flask may HCl lena 10 ml and add two drops of your uh, beetroot indicator HCl kitna lena hai 10 ml titration flask may add two drops of beetroot indicator and then start adding from the burette you will be adding the NaOH initial and final reading monitor kariye find out the volume difference on the initial final to get the volume of the NaOH used and the value comes out to be 12.2 is the concordant reading this value is more than phenolphthalein matlab phenolphthalein color change kam basic mein use kar leta hai while beetroot shows the color change jab base zyada dala hai means beetroot is showing a color change at a higher ph fine the same thing then needs to be done with the onion peel indicator volume of the acid in the titration flask you will take 10 ml of hcl that you have prepared yourself add two drops of your onion peel indicator aur koi banaya hai to wo bhi same procedure se kar lijiyega burette reading mein naoh hai burette mein initial and final measure karke you find that the two same readings are 11 so your concordant value is 11 now this is closer to phenolphthalein this is nearing phenolphthalein jitna phenolphthalein ke paas aa jaye utna the indicator can replace phenolphthalein fine you will use some pictures while you were performing the practical these are more pictures of the solution and water bath with the thermometer showing the extraction of the indicator this is the solution which was prepared as an indicator the colored uh, beetroot solution which is used as an indicator this is my student performing the practical this is the apparatus where you are adding the base into the conical flask now coming to the most important part the conclusion of the project the color change was observed in strong acid and strong base titration when the titration was conducted with beetroot the indicator the color of the acid changes from colorless to lightest possible pink as done for phenolphthalein when the titration was done using onion peel then the indicator the color of the acid changes from colorless to light yellow it could be different for rose it could be different for petunia you could find a different change in marigolds so it would you will need to mention what are the color changes that you are observing at the end point finally the most important thing is the ph for the end point value phenolphthalein the color changed at 10.4 ml of naoh onion peel it changed at 11.0 ml of naoh dalne par beetroot it showed a color change at 12.2 ml of naoh iska matlab color change was shown at a higher amount of base matlab at a higher pH. So beetroot shows a color change at a higher pH. Closer to phenolphthalein is this as compared to beetroot. Onion peel can still be preferred. Fine. That is what you will conclude. You need to mention the precautions that are to be done. For example, there should be no air bubble in the burette while you are titrating it. Also, there should be no leakage from the burette so that the reading will not be accurate. You will have to take the readings at the eye level. always you need to read the lower meniscus because the solution is colorless your naoh and hcl both are colorless so you need to use the lower meniscus to read in the burette sources of error could be misjudging the color of the indicator near the end point this is probably the most common error sometimes color change is delicate and slow and not everyone has the same sensitivity to the colors transferring of the two different solutions using the same pipette and not rinsing the paper with distilled water in between the two is also a problem which is commonly observed the last page of your project is the bibliography where you will mention what resource materials have you used this student has used saraswati chemistry lab manual slide shared from the net for the beetroot indicator www.chemicool.com www.brenelli.in www.cora.com are the websites that she has used from the net fine i hope i have helped you with another project variety can be added to it as i already told you the project is on natural indicators and there are many natural indicators just follow the same procedure you can use any other indicators also and then compare it to the synthetic indicator that is phenolphthalein for a acid based titration fine 
all the best do well in life please keep sharing and liking the videos pass it on to somebody who's not done the project as yet a friend of yours a cousin of yours who's into class 12th appearing for the boards next year all the best i would again share another investigative project soon bye take care bless you loads stay happy stay safe